Hi, my name is Jin Liu, and today I'll be writing a program to find all the prime numbers within a set interval. To start, we need to understand what a prime number is. A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that is not a product of two smaller natural numbers. A natural number greater than 1 that is not a prime number is called a composite number. For example, 5 is a, not a, five is a prime because the only ways of writing it as a product is 1 times 5 or 5 times 1, which involves 5 itself. Some examples of prime numbers could be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, and 47. These are all the prime numbers between 1 and 50. Finding larger intervals such as 1 through 1000 takes too long by hand. This is especially true for higher numbers. There are less and less prime numbers as you test higher factors, while there are more numbers to test as the factor. To automate this process, we can use code to test each interval. The main idea is you go through each number starting from 2 to whatever the maximum number is and check if that number is a factor. And by doing this, you can find whether a value has any factors. If after testing on all the numbers as, fa as factors has led to no results, we can conclude that the tested number is a prime. To start, we first need to make two variables that define our boundaries. We can create a variable representing each end. For this example, we will use the numbers from 900 through 1000. We can then set up the process of finding the prime numbers. We need to test each value from the lower bound to the upper bound bonus plus 1. We need to add this one because the program will check if the upper bound is a prime. This is because the for loop stops after meeting the upper bound. At this point, we have to set up a for loop that loops through all the numbers between the lower and the upper bound. Next, we need to check if the number from 2, since 1 is never a prime number, we rule out that the negative number cannot be a prime. Since all prime numbers are greater than 1, if we we can set an if condition for the number being greater than 1. We can then cycle through each value from the lower bound to the current number and check if it is divisible by that number. We can use the operator modulus in this scenario. Modulus takes the remainder after dividing values. If this number is 0, we know that the number we are checking is not a prime. Thus, we can use the break command to skip to the next value. If we do not get a value where each number is divided by the number and has never been, has never had a remainder of 0, we can conclude that the number is a prime. For example, we need to print out all the numbers that are a prime. And with this program finished, we are able to automate the process of finding the prime numbers from a lower value to an upper value.